Okay. You guys check this thing out. Doesn't look quite so weird from this angle, right? But what do we have here. What do we have here? What is this nonsense? This is one of those overhead guitars. And it's made to fit in an overhead compartment in an aerial plane. And I've never seen one up close. Here we have the uh, the destructions and the look at that. The guy wanted to play better, and it comes with a lower saddle that you can drop in there. So we'll, we'll do that. See that. See if it makes any better. Because right now the action is pretty terrible. Um, might not be. It says not supposed to have a gap. Oops. With uh, the instructions. So maybe this isn't all fully. No, oh, it's not. Oh well, we had we didn't have this tightened up enough. That's better. How's the action? Yeah, it's still terrible. Slightly betterer, but still pretty terrible. That must be his. I don't think it comes with that Diderio to clip on side tuner thing. Oh, it sounds magnificent. Wow, look at those nut slots. Oh, it's going to be such... Oh. You know what we have to do for this thing to set it up? Ugh. Yuck. To get a nut file in there, because even if these are... Right now, okay, right now the strings are to the board. Look how high those nut slots still are. Thanks, overhead. That means... Oh, I, I can just probably... I bet I can... Maybe I can loosen this up, slide it back. I need room for my files. I would never be able to, you know, cut this slot down if, if this is all damaged something for sure. This is all the movement I'm getting. Oh, this crap over here. Just at a bridge re-glue, so this stuff was all previous video. It's a workbench. It gets dirty. Calm down. So, all right. Let's see how it works. I think the guy also was asking if we could um, widen the nut spacing because he wants to be able to grip it like that. And I guess the, the spacing is making that difficult. I think it's fine. Um, but I don't think we can do that with this gadget on here. It's kind of lined right up to those slots like it was made for it, maybe. So we're not probably going to do that. Unless he wants to lose that thing, and that kind of is the... If you take that off, then this thing just... Strings fly off. And, although I guess it wouldn't be too bad with locking tuners. Yeah, but no, we still need that. We need that. Anyway, let's take it apart, right? Okay. So let's put you guys in the holder. You can watch me take the thing apart. I've never taken it apart before, actually. Uh, shop uh, coordinator left it over here. Whoops, I hit pause by accident. But uh, now I'm going to hit pause for real. Pause. Okay, unpause. So it says in the destructions, you, you basically unscrew. They said to hold it between your legs, but I mean, we got we can use leverage here of the... Just like that. So how we did that was just push the button. Look at that. You guys want to see that again? I think we can just... Look at that. Huh, this clicks right in. Here, let's, uh, let's get it from a different angle. You guys can't see anything from there. Hold on, pause. Okay, put you guys in the other holder. So yeah, this is how it works. Um, basically, you just kind of press against it, push the button, and look at that. Comes right out. It's like this, and it's got this metal like a almost like a door striker kind of looks like a door striker anyway and then you have this little notch here and that just lines up on this and that's that's it here check it out you guys see what i can't really see you from your angle so hopefully you guys can see that it's kind of interesting that little uh boy that uh that thing resembles uh resembles a certain something that we probably can't say on a family-friendly channel. Hmm. It looks like a, 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 a mushroom type of apparatus. Wow. The, the nicknames that, can, that I could think of for this guitar have just started to sprout in my brain. But uh, anyway, 
<laughs> oh, let's see. Let's just see. They, they said they gave us a short saddle. It's already apart. You know, if the guy decides not to do anything when you tell him we really don't want to adjust the spacing, it'll, it'll play better, right? Let's see. Do they even... That yeah, looks good. Looks like it was machined pretty well. Pop that out of there. Oh, yeah. This is a lot taller, isn't it? Yeah, it's like almost two millimeters, probably. So, let's stick that in there. This guy will be happy about that, I would imagine. So it's got a pickup, but it's got no piezo strip. That's good. I was wondering if they were doing that. What is it? Oh, I think it's just a K and K or a K and K knockoff. That's cool. I'm looking very silly. Whoops. Oh man. Uh oh, what I do? Oh no, we're good. I thought that was twisted. Looking very silly if they use like a uh, under saddle transducer for something like this. It would never work, right? All right, let's uh, also, might as well check these tuners while the string tension is off. They could be loose. You guys see what happened? All right, here, try to swing you over here. There we go, without the thing falling over. Yeah, these are, these are pretty loose. If they're locking tuners, they probably should be tight, I think. I could be wrong, Ooh, that one was almost finger tight. All right, anyway, let's, uh, Right, we'll angle you over here. See if you can see that. This is such a cheap holder that I'm using on this side. It's more for the light than for the phone holder. But uh, here, yeah, let's flip it around. Again, they say to do, to do it with your knees, but uh, they weren't talking about people with workbenches, obviously. So click, click, and then we do this. And it says to tighten it right up. There we go. That feels tight. Hey, look at that. Action's much better. Much better. This the nut slots are still too high. Um, and we'll we'll we bleh, words. We will ask the customer what he would like to do. Right around, right around E. I think that's around E. Oh, two and a fork. That was just a guess. That was really flat. Now I suspect that once you get this thing dialed in, it's probably pretty close. If the tune, if these locking tuners weren't, they're they're wrapped. If these weren't wrapped, I bet you it'd be even, it'd stay in tune, be fairly close. Let's see how good. It, let's see how good it does. Ready? Okay. All right. So we're pretty in tune, or as in tune as the average person's going to be with one of these things, right? Um, see how it works. Let's see if it, uh, if it stays relatively in tune. Ready? Oh, those nut slots are way too tall. All right. Now, do that. Unlock that. Okay, that's unlocked. Click. Now we're out. Now we've flown to wherever. All right, let's take it all the way out. It fits in the bag. It's got a specific way it fits in the bag. And then, okay, so now let's put it back together. Like that. Flip it over. Click. All right, you really got to give that some force. The threads are very coarse. All right. On. Wow. That's cool. Alright, I think we're good. And let's see how close we are. Didn't tune it at all. Ah, it could be worse. It could be a lot worse. Let's give the string a stretch, see if that see if that did it. What do we think? 
Again, could be a lot worse. Yeah. All right, let's see how it actually sounds. doesn't sound amazing. Let's see how it sounds plugged in. That's not bad. In. Let's see what it actually is. I don't even know if it's a K and K. Let's see if it's a real K and K or not. It is. Where are you? Where are you? I can't see you. It is not. It is the one with the little pictures of the guitars on the back of the sensors. They got them installed pretty properly. Yeah, that looks good. So it's a non K and K, K and K. Okay. Well, there you have it. Still needs a yeah. It's got also it's their own thing. It's got the little the logo that they use is on the back of those pickups. That right there. You guys see that that logo? That's on the back of those little pickup pads. Uh, neck is pretty straight, so I'm not even going to take the trash rod cover off. I assume it works. Probably does. Could still action could still come down a little lower. It could definitely use a setup. Um, it would be cool if they were able to incorporate like a micro tilt into this also. That would be really ingenious. That's what they should do. Listen here, overhead. Put some type of, type of micro tilt in there that's accessible from the back. And this will be pretty cool. And fix your nuts, sir. Fix your nuts. All right. Actually, you know what? I think would be pretty cool is a little bonus addendum video. We're going to take this part, and we're, you guys are going to go inside and see how it looks like in there. Okay? Ready? You're going into that hole. That's definitely what she said. Hold on. Okay, so hopefully, hope you guys can fit in there. Oh, yeah, look at that. I got my little uh, inspection mirror thing in there like that. So here, let's check it out. There we go. You guys like to see there those little pickup pads? Huh? I bet none of you have seen the inside of one of these before. Okay, let's move the light. Hold on, we're not done yet. We're not done yet. Hold on. We're just going to move the lumens so you can see what the joint looks like in, on this side. But we need more. We need more illuminations. There we go. That'll work. Ready? All right, we're going back in. Going back in. You guys are boldly, go, boldly going. Oh. Oh, there, how's that? How's that look? And, oh, too much light. I didn't have the right settings. Here we go. One more time. One more time, because I'm curious also. There it is. Let's take a little... Sorry, I'm taking pictures while you guys are in there. That I shall post on the video. That was pretty cool, huh? There's that neck joint set up. So this just kind of releases like that. Yeah, it's probably, it's pretty rugged. It's a big, so this is an entire block carved out. That looks pretty rugged. Yeah. Just curious how many times somebody could take this thing out, put it back together before things start to fail. I guess you guys probably want to see is how this thing goes in its case, right? That was probably the, the important part of this. <laughs> I got so wrapped up in it being a guitar, I forgot that it has to be luggage. 
anyway, here, hold on. Ready? Yeah, let's get in the holder again. Pause. All right, so this is one more time. So we're going to loosen this, loosen this up, go, press the button, pop it out, let's set it like that, and we'll take this out. Actually, let's leave it like this so we don't damage it. It seems relatively safe like that. Here is the case thing. Let's grab this. Grab it right by the sound hole. Ooh, look at that. You guys want to see something scary? <laughs> it's balanced on that stool. It'll be fine. Don't worry. So this is the case. Uh, so it's a little in pockets and stuff. It's kind of cool, huh? Guess that was shipping materials. So we're getting ready to go back to the airplane. Put that in there like so. And I believe, let's see, how did this go? Oh, this gets tucked in like this. Yes. That gets tucked in like that. It gets zipped up like that. Strings go through uh, like that. There. There it is. What do you guys think? Crazy? Is it a guitar? Is it a suitcase? It's both. And it just kind of like that, like that. Look it up. What else we got here? What else is in this thing? Oh, we got polished cloths. Oh, this dude didn't get anything. I think you just got this, and hopefully, I don't find a pair of underwear in here or something. There's more places to carry things. Um, is this how the neck is when it is? Yeah, okay. So that's where the neck sits once inside. That's cool. It's got a single sling. Or does it have two? Oh, it's got two. And where does the backpack? Look at that. You know, I like it. Nice and handles. <clears throat> nice and handily. Lots of handles. Cool. Yeah. You know what? I kind of like it. I don't know how much these things go for, but uh, that's pretty cool. If you want to practice and not take your expensive martin on the road with you, this is certainly, uh, this would work. This would work for those of us that practice, which I don't. Anyway, um, I wouldn't send it through luggage or anything because it's not, it's a pretty, pretty soft bag. But in an overhead, sure. Like I said, see? Overhead right there. All right. Uh, yeah, cool. I like the, I like the bag. Okay, so thanks for watching, guys. Um, it's funny, I actually had to re record a couple of different endings for this because I kept forgetting about things. Anyway, though, I'll edit those pieces out. You guys won't even, you'll be like, what? This is the only ending I'm, ending I'm seeing. It's because I am so good to you. So, subscribe right there. Anyway, see ya!